All right. Kill as quick as possible. Big thing is uh, clicking while you're while you're had your inventory open and stuff. Any chest that's along the way is worth opening because if you get a whetstone or a transmute, uh, you can sell it, get an extra iron ring, buy some other things, buy a mess. If it's really out of the way, it's probably still worth it if it drops you something good. But if I can see it on the screen, I open it. Barrels aren't worth it. Uh, dead corpses aren't worth it. Also, if you get a, an offhand weapon. It means you can kill a lot faster because you use the uh, extra attack speed. If you get a dagger, you actually put the dagger in your main hand because double strike only uses your main hand weapon. And uh, it's like the shadows of the old days. Sit here, killing Hillock as slow as possible while all the shadows destroy you. Pick up everything. If you have an SSD, the quickest way is to relog right there. Celebrating to the vendor. Since I didn't have uh, an offhand weapon, I sold the transmit shards as well. So I can buy a hatchet. If you have an extra wisdom scroll, you can also buy a uh, molten strike there. I normally just end up getting it later. Not the most pleasant of if you end up getting a transmit off the beach, you can. Um, I need to go this way. Getting the map layouts. If you get a transmute or an extra an iron ring or anything, you can. Wait, if you get a transmute or a whetstone or anything, you have the option to sell them. Buy a uh, second iron ring is increase your damage a lot. Basically, in the coast, you don't really kill anything unless the pack size is really good. Uh, click on these along your way because it's worth it. Pick up since after you kill Hailrake, you're gonna be going back to town. Picking up small items is good. Sell them for extra wisdom scrolls. Click the waypoint and go directly to Tidal Island. Now one of the actual big killers in the race is the Coast and then Hailrake. Because of all the extra damage and the move speed, Hailrake does Glacial Cascade, which is part fizz damage, which means he does extra damage. So uh, it is really good to put armor on for him or anything you found along the way. Once again, you don't want to kill too much, but I do like being at least level 2 before I get to him. And then I try and kill all the mobs before I actually start fighting him, because you don't want to get stun locked and die. Once you're one-on-one, -on -one, it's pretty hard for him to kill you. If he does like a triple glacial cascade on you, then you can die, but he's being really fucking easy right now. Once again, pick up everything you can. Getting a medium life off him is absolutely amazing. Grab the Quicksilver. Sell everything that you're not going to put on immediately. <coughs> Buy a Rustic Sash, 24%. Oh shit, I should have sold that, whatever. And go. We're doing pretty well so far, but we're going to need an ID scroll for our medium life. If we had enough there, instead of a Rustic Sash, we would have bought a second Iron Ring, because we use double iron for most of the race. Actually, until we can put a Fire Resist Ring on. And Fire Resist Rings are so important because of the extra damage is fire throughout the entire race. So the second you hit 11, you really want to have a, a Ruby on for pretty much the entire race. Normally I try and hit level 3 in here. The important thing about leveling is when you level, you want it to always be after you've used all your Quicksilver charges. So if you have a Quicksilver charge and you're about to level, uh, you want to use it before you. So it recharges itself. It's pretty, uh, pretty nifty little trick. Now there you can go to town for like a second to recharge your Quicksilver. Could be worth it. Here you only, like every other zone, you only kill really big packs. Squids, they're pretty easy to kill. If you have double iron rings, you can uh, one-shot them. If you, even if you don't, you can one-shot, see I one-shot most of them. So you can like just hit them twice. Blue packs you want to kill unless you're really over leveled. Oh god. Alright, made it around. 
There's always a rare at the top of these stairs. Unless it's a rare squid, which I don't remember it ever actually being. <laughs> it's not worth killing. Here you... Hopefully you don't get mob blocked. Big packs of mobs. And then to ledge. Still could use a uh, wisdom scroll. Is he map hacking? No. Uh, the signature race is revealed to everybody. It's uh, something that they've started doing for pretty much signature races every season. Because if anyone happens to be map hacking, it takes away most of their advantage. Ow. You see I'm like hit moving. Because hopefully you dodge some of their hits so you don't get stunned by them since they do do extra damage. Yes, I did just say do do. Fuck, I did the wrong. Okay, we got another one. That was a waste of an ID scroll. Battered helm. Red sockets. Nice. Goals normally have a lot of life, so they're not really worth killing. This way. I do have a tendency even to overkill most of the time. It's just if I see mobs, I like to kill them. And the whole time you're killing mobs, you really want to be hitting as many mobs as possible. So you notice I'll keep moving to range myself where my cleave will hit as many mobs as I think I can hit at a time. And then if there's only like one mob left, it'll just skip them. Picking up red gem, because I can sell that with an iron ring later to make a ruby ring. Now the way weapons work is, so rusted swords, what you start with is the worst weapon. Then uh, rusted hatchets and rusted spikes are about the same. Rusted spikes a little faster, rusted hatchets is more damage. Then at level 5 you can use a copper sword. Speaking of copper sword. And at level 6 you can use a jade hatchet. So you want to be looking out for all those weapons to pick up as you go. Kuduku sometimes has a blue pack with them. It's worth killing them if they're there. You don't want to be too close to Kuduku. So you can get you can get uh, shocked and die. The reason I spec this way on Duelist, where I get I used to get uh, the attack speed first, but I started getting the strength first because it lets you use a uh, two-handed weapon for Brutus, assuming you found one by that point. Team. Climb can be a little scary because of the leapers. Wrong item. Also, something you should be doing the entire race is picking up superior weapons because you need what stones to do the recipe. I haven't had a single one drop yet. That's pretty unlucky. Never lucky baby rage. I should probably ID those. Blue boots, you're really looking for MS on them. Didn't get it. But. You should probably ID all of them, just in case. Ow. Like this, all these leapers, because they stun you. Really scary. Would normally pick up that blue hatchet, but I want out of that area. <laughs> large life. If that large life hadn't dropped, I wouldn't worry about circling back around. Since it did, we're hoping we don't die. Constantly moving to avoid the fireballs, avoid the leaps on top of you. Misclicking. And we're out of here. Whew, fun game. So this can go here. We don't have a red red yet, which kind of sucks. Because we have to level 8 to get a red red. It's to be a cage fight then. I can live with that. So here, just like before, we're gonna log out and log back in. Get our questions quicker. Grab added fire. Sell all these. 
and pick up decoy totem. Make sure we go the right way. We should have bought Molten Strike there too. I forgot. I always forget something there it seems. Not sure if I'm going to TP and get it or... Just use double strike. Probably just use double strike. If I have to use the two handed sword, I will. It'll only be better because of added fire. If without it, I think double strike, uh, I think dual wielding is better. If I get a red red somewhere else. And feeble is what really sucks about this zone. Nurse your damage. This zone is pretty straightforward means most of the time you're probably you're not gonna hit nine before the boss once again I don't have a chest I should have picked up the scale best we saw earlier drop but I didn't guess we're going with a shabby jerkin second large life isn't bad take that off right now ow Brutus is going to be difficult. An exile here. Shame the warden won't leave anything from Oh we need fuck we need green red. I should have cut those boots. This is worse, right? Yeah, it's worse. It's about the same here, so I'm probably gonna just double strike. Huh, I didn't know those barrels actually did damage to you. Alright, this is where we uh, pray we don't die. We do have a TP for it, so... Avoid his slams, keep decoy up at all times. Ow. The ads do do a lot of damage. I said do do again. Oh, I have to TP out, don't I? Woo! And we got him. That was, uh, that was fun. That was fun. Sell this, 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 this. Get Leaf Slam from there. Oh, I should get Molten Strike now. Mm -hmm. Purchase Molten Strike. Fun game, guys. Fun game. I didn't know the barrels actually did damage. Do you have an augment? Let me go ahead and augment this. One to two fizz, not bad. Probably should skip this pack, but a worthy opponent. Mouth's not terrible because eventually oh, Whetstone was really big there. Once we hit 12, we're going to be sweeping. Transmute, we need to keep. It's really important to have a transmute uh, when you hit level 12. Once you get to Marvel Zone, so you can uh, actually buy sweep. We're not going to use that Shabby Jerkin again. Uh, we could go ahead and ID this. You actually don't. So you can do the recipe. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hold on. Let's uh, not die real quick.
Now the recipe is a whetstone, a blue or better rustic sash, and a weapon. Um, that gives you a flat IPD roll on a weapon, which is pretty important. Only thing that really allows you to do damage unless you just find something really good. We still need red red. We could two-handed cleave. I think I might. I believe in traveling light. What? I do not. Don't lie to me. All right, we're gonna two-handed cleave. Haven't tried this before actually, but it's only red red we have. I think our damage will go up by like 20-ish. I almost feel sorry for these dudes. We don't really need this anymore because we have molten strike. Probably should have waited one more level. Ow! Oh, they're powerful crits. Ruby ring's really nice. Red, red, red mallet's really nice. The reason I might have decided to wait one more level is in one more level I actually get an attack speed node, so the two handed cleave will be like actually decently fast. I have life on my boots, I'm not gonna wear those. Once I set, like I said earlier, I probably kill too much as I race, but. Art of the Gladiator gives you attack speed. Now our cleave should be decent, pretty fast, in comparison. While you're running, there's not a lot of things that you need to do. You can uh, check your inventory, see what you need, what you don't need. So you want this, you want this. Fire res is really good. Could have logged out there as well. But I'm just gonna do that. Vendor those three things. You must take your chance. So not this. This, this, this. Purchase sweep, which we won't be able to use for a while. And we're gonna go. Now you can buy a cold ring for Mervel, but I don't. If you're if you can dodge well enough, as you'll see in the fight later, uh, you can avoid most of the damage in the fight. And just hope you don't die. You can't get really bad RNG for the fight. Now ideally, ideally you leave 12 for, uh, actually, actually you don't even need 12. 12 is just to farm southern forest, or I guess the forest now. I don't know if it's called southern still. But I, I am going to try and hit 11 before I get to her, because that will give me an extra, an extra attack speed accuracy node. Also, I am going to run back and pick up that scale vest because I don't have anything better to put on right now. For, for that fight in particular. Keep picking up stuff. Could probably sell this for a greater. Greater's 10, right? Hopefully I find a greater. That'd be the, that's the dream. First superior weapon we've seen, or that I've actually noticed that I've seen. Pick it up. You need 40 quality of weapons to add up together in order to make a whetstone. Probably gonna make a mallet and then wait for a poleaxe. Is the plan right now? I saw the blues over here. We got a greater, unfortunately it wasn't a life. Hey, we're first. That's interesting. Alright, there's the attack speed nobody wanted. Look at the skinny knife. Oh, we should have Leap Slam on right now. 
Where's our leap slam at? We don't have a red socket for it. Okay, so take Molten Strike, switch it with Cleave. Put this here, put this on. And keep, D just like the Brutus fight, keep decoy up as much as possible. Her skills are very telegraphed. So you basically just want to move around until she does a skill. Once she starts a the skill, then you attack her. And that's why you don't really need a cold ring. That's the worst RNG you can get is when she uh when you're in melee range on her and she does that on top of you. Because you have to wait that out. Alright, phase second phase is pretty easy. You can get bad RNG if she spawns the stuff right on top of her. Like that. Scream does decent amount of damage, but with large lives you can heal through it. Alright, that I'm actually going to wait out. Red Red Cone Helmet. Alright, nothing's even really worth picking up. Oh, I thought I clicked on the door. That's one of my best uh, memorable kill times. So now we're just going to try and hit 12 here. Superior weapon. So now we're at 25%. I believe in Trevor's light. Idea is to hit 12 and get to town about the same time. Probably hit 12 beforehand though. The sound can be really good, it can be really bad too. Extra life monkeys. Wish I need that. What can I drop? Oh god. Who the hell is that? Oh, peeps. Uh, let's keep going, keep up our pace, put this over here. What was the other quality weapon? This one. Put this here, this here. Sell this, this, this. This, 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 this. And then sell this, this, and this. 45 IPD. Put our sweep in here and our molten strike in here. Going. Gonna go ahead and transmute a ruby ring. Attack speed's really nice. Am I on D&D? &D? What happened to that? Maybe when I relogged, went away. This here, this here. Where did I leave Sam at? No, go here. And this goes here. Sorry. Misclicking, I apologize. So here we're gonna run all the way to Western Forest and then go run Sims. Another Whetstone's nice. Gonna be one more Whetstone for the race. So we can make a uh, 18 weapon and then make a 23 weapon. one of the worst zones, it can be one of the worst zones if you don't get blue monkeys and I don't know, all the white monkeys just end up running away from you. And if you miss the mobs. Movement speed, nice.
almost picked up that superior. Blues will stop to kill. Ooh, Plex. Need that for later. Hopefully you don't die to the exploders, and then let's go to Sims. I thought I dropped something much more important there. Now over here, you can get lucky and get a chest. Fortunately it's not there, but we did get a blue pack. I'm not sure which way is better to go. This way is shorter, but the mob density on the side is normally worse, so. Fitty fitty. And you don't have a quick server up, I do have a quick server up. You don't have a quick server up, leap's probably just as good. You do have a quick server up, uh quick server's better. The race is a one hour race. So, things we're looking for right now, um, let's see, probably go back to town right here and make a topaz ring. Let me take that off. Should have done this earlier, but I forgot. Travel fast. Yeah, it's basically from for, for this area, it's just ooh, rare gloves can be really good or not good. I guess they can't really be bad, especially since they're an upgrade on whatever I'm not using right now. This can be bad. Cutthroat. I don't know what cutthroat does, but it didn't matter. I believe in traveling light. Whoops, wrong way. Keep getting damage nodes. Normally don't go out of the way, but I saw a huge pack of mobs over here and a rare. I need to kill the rare decently fast, so. Calculated adventure. Soul conduit, definitely not worth killing. Otherworldly can hurt a lot. One thing that can be bad in this race is uh, unexpected nemesis or this is at 35% I think now. Unexpected nemesis or bloodlines mods can be really unfortunate. All right, gonna put a topaz on for this. Probably over the life actually. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna put the topaz on. Put it on if I need it. I think I need it. I'm gonna put my chest on for. Ooh. Try and stand far away from these guys. This Ooh. Alchemy is a really nice pickup. Let's me uh, do the Alk recipe on the Poleaxe that I'll be using later. Also tells us we're in first somehow. Now here I'm going to put on the Topaz ring for Fidelity. Ooh, never mind. I'm not going to. Apparently I don't have strengths or anything. Once again, decoy totem is pretty huge here. I normally uh, try and kill all the adds before I deal with Fidelitas. Just uh, takes away some of the variance of the damage.
Here we pick up Herald of Ash. Now we are gonna need a transmute at some point. Forgot about. Hmm. That's all we need is one more armor scrap. Oh, we can. Ow. Don't blow up on me. Please. much stuff carrying because uh, all the superior weapons are way too big. I think I might... I wonder if I'll be 18 by the time I get to caverns. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait to do bandits until caverns try something different. Should probably pick that up. that up, but I have no room. I don't even know how I'm going to pick up the rusted spike. Uh, put this here. Once again, using the uh, decoy totem. Sit here, wait for him to come back down. I'll need to put that on it. Shit, 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 shit. I can put these on now. And then put this here, this here, and this here, and pick this up. And pick up this. Fuck. We need fucking inventory management. Travel far. Here we need to go this way. When we transmuted our uh, ruby ring earlier, it was kind of worth it, but now we really need a uh, more stuff. damage is going to be lacking a little bit. Maybe it's not worth it because for Oak you have to run all the way back to him. I don't know. Try new strats, always. Trying to improve. Don't know what the best thing is to do. Are we 16? Yeah, so we need 8. We need seven more transmute shards. We need one blue item and one rare item. Yeah, that'd be seven. We need that to buy an amulet that has int on it. Now ghosts, 98% of the time aren't worth killing. I'm gonna try and kill this one quickly. Maybe it'll drop a rare. I'm searching for a transmute really badly. Nice. Go to town. Do all this stuff real quick. So, purchase int, no hybrid int amulets, put this on. Put this here. That lets us use our Herald of Ash. Now, if we had another alteration, we'd be running double Herald right now, but we can't afford it. On. Still need, uh, I think a five quality weapon. So basically, any quality weapon to drop. There we 
There we go. Now we can make our transmute. Let's skip the rare, because those guys can do a lot of damage. I didn't even look at the stats, but... Oh, we already have a, uh, here we're going this way. Let's put that there. Get this off. I saw that faults. I only have five alt shards, so. Ooh, double transmute, that's pretty good. I might do the transmute recipe with the with the Polax now. I didn't have any currency, so I was just planning on doing uh, the Alk recipe. So here in Northern Forest, uh, if you are a slower racer, or you want to try different strats, one is to get to Northern just like I did, and spend the whole rest of the race farming the corrupted zone which is right there on the map on the opposite side uh, I think you do if you get here early enough you can do pretty well here it's uh, definitely a decent strategy for a lot of classes ow that hurt let's get away from the rare devourer our goal right now is to hit now one thing I probably could have done is started doing bandits now until I hit 18 while I do it, but we're committed. We're committed. Go back to town. So here we're going to put this on. Buy a rustic sash. There's not a lavender. Just use our own. Transmute, sell. And sell this, 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 and this to get for our next weapon. Now we're missing a belt, but. damage should go up. Added fire and sweep. We need to pick up our support gems, what we need to do. I'm actually going to TP back to town again. I don't have an ult though, do I? Dang. So all I can get here is melee physical. Maybe we do have an ult. No, we're short a little bit. Probably should have gotten faster tax there, but whatever. Now you're gonna see Ray's full head because he's he's doing the other strategy I told you, where you can. I didn't even look at those boots. They could have been really amazing. Honestly, didn't even look. I thought I might be able to get a. Uh, Damage nodes. Might have been able to get an alteration just by selling them. Three to six fizz. I can't sell those. Now, ideally, you buy two faster attacks and you get melee fizz. You can put faster attacks on your leap slam and then have faster attacks and melee fizz on your sweep and then added fire can go on your single target. Ow. I'm gonna die. Oh, rare vulnerable hit bear, scary. Let's uh, dip. Stop following me. Uh, 
Oh wait, I need to go here. All right, now we go do a Lyra. Hopefully with the uh, from Alira and Creighton, we'll be able to, we should be able to buy faster attacks and another melee fizz. Wait, two two faster attacks. There we go. Deco totem like always. There we go. That'll be it there. You help us. Sell this and this. Purchase faster tax. We just got rid of our green red, didn't we? We need this molten strike. Hmm. Let's do sweep, faster attacks, melee fizz. Now boxes, YOLO. Oh god, that was insane box. Three packs of magic monsters, really good. Basically, if you want to open boxes and races, you can ID them, but it's not fun. You should YOLO click them, always. Those gloves. They're better than these. Did you have ash on? It is. I sometimes forget it after a minute or two since I log out and log in. So what do we need here? We need triple red. Triple red. Yeah, triple red is what we need. Or another alteration. Actually, another alteration really wouldn't do much. Once again, decoy totem. Kill. Second quicksilver. Wasn't as swift as your blades, bridge rat. Speak so. Going. Got a vice. Now we can run double. Now we need to do oak. This is why I don't think this strategy is faster. Oh fuck! Went to the wrong waypoint. Because we have stuff to do oak as well. Not that we're killing him, but. Alright, use one more quicksilver charge, then put this down here, transmute it, augment it. It's terrible. Transmute it. Now we go back to here. We progress. Now rolling a twenty three weapon, which is will be our next weapon we roll. It's going to depend on if I if I find a chaos orb or a second alk, I will uh, just alk the weapon and then uh, do the recipe on it. If I don't, then I actually have to craft it. Also depends on how we're doing, time wise. I think we were on a good pace and we slowed down significantly somehow. Not exactly sure how. I like those colors. Pick that up.
Go, 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 go. Alright, uh, here we'll switch out these two. So our, this does more damage. We'll use Decoy Totem like always. Could try putting Leap Slam. Melee Fizz, faster attacks for farm the next zone to see how our damage is. Two mana potions would have been better. Do something easy. It's not easy. That's easy. We're out of mana. And he did. Double axe, pick that up for later. Uh, where's Leafs at? This might be too much mana. I think level wise we're behind. But yeah, I don't like this. Uh, where's our sweep? Put this and put this in YOLO. Always trying to be the outside of the pack. Frenzy charge blues are awful. Guy does so much damage with frenzy charges. Rip that guy. Frenzy's damaged, always frenzy charges. Pick up the war plate. Got a really insane uh city siren. Everything's frenzy. I don't know why. Here and just keep eating damage nodes, take off a chest while in town. Uh, yellow another strong box. Detonates. Alright, already detonated, so we're good. I guess we're not gonna see the contents in it. The last mob was up above. Thinking with the. Uh, I guess we'll see this race if it's gonna be worth it to progress or not. I don't think it will be. I don't know. It just seems so clunky for Duelist to progress. And with the lead I had, I could be really far ahead if I didn't progress. I think I'd farm fast enough to maintain that lead. But we'll see. See how much time I have in, uh... Should have like 8 minutes in warehouses? Gonna go to town to recharge both our Quicksilvers.
Generating double mana potions once I can use a second mana potion. It was a mistake not to be using double mana potions already. I just ran into a corrupted zone, didn't I? Wow. That was a mistake. I've only done Crematorium once this season, so... I just assumed it was that way. They're on a Topaz ring. Get put these on instead. Purchase a rustic sash, hopefully. Thank you. I'll get sell Be that. Careful. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. Too bad we're so far behind. We need like four levels and Six, five and a, six and a half minutes. Yeah. Um, we're not going to do it, boys. Too far behind. Look, so, looking back on the race, it's going to be to see uh, where we lost all the time. Not that far behind. Well, I'm talking about record pace, not a... Uh, Talking about getting a record, not winning this race. In signature races, it's all about beating the best time for the season. Probably not worth killing any of this stuff. I probably should just kill a lot less and rush where else is a lot faster Giant life. Hmm. I'm gonna put on double ruby to farm with. Make me a little tankier. Go, go, go. Switching the double axe will be so big. So now, once you make the warehouses, you just farm as fast as you can. There's no like wrong way to go, really, that I know of. I mean, there's wrong, there's dead ends, but as long as you're killing mobs, you're doing it right. And as long as the doorway isn't blocked by a single mob. Go and I'll put this here, this here, this here, and this here. Now you just run around and hope there's blue mobs everywhere. Get the mana flask. 
I have two mana flasks when I hit the next level. I hear it's, it's debatable whether you should be sweeping or sweeping. I definitely don't have the mana recovery to leap right now, so. And we do have double quicksilver. Oh wow, that is the wrong gem. Did I drop sweep? No, there it is. <laughs> Whoops. I was wondering why it was so slow. Three and a half minutes to get two and a half levels. Is it dead end down here? It's not. Looks like it on the map. I guess it couldn't be. Two levels in three minutes. What we're aiming for. Going here. gonna be able to do it. We need a little bit more time. So we get to try this now. school mechanics it's just it's so awkward to be leaping around in a in warehouses because the, all the corners are so sharp I mean I would I would be right or I'd probably be beating rise if I didn't kill Vol. I just, I don't know, I have to figure out how to progress faster on Duelist. Because once you get here, the XP is like a lot, much, much better. But you have to get here fast enough to make it better, make it pay off. And I thought we had a really fast race, so. Oh god. Alright. Maybe they're... Oh, the race ended. Maybe they're easy to do with sweep, but they're not easy to do with leap. So, overall, that was pretty disappointing. Even though our weapon was really good. Uh, I don't know. We had everything we could... Overall, in retrospect, I think we got everything we wanted in the race. We just didn't progress quickly enough. I don't know if that's my fault, or if duelists just aren't strong enough to progress that quickly. Or if I spent too much time diddling around. Um, Spec-wise, in case anyone was curious, you go down here, through here, to Master Arena. Then over to Art of the Gladiator, you go Master Arena first, so you know strength to use a two-hander. 
attack speed and accuracy node at level 10, then destroyer at 12, then you splitting strikes, then you just grab random damage nodes, you can get these attack speed nodes if you want, you can get these melee damage nodes, these damage nodes, uh, you grab the man on hit if you want, you can go to the life if you're a pussy, alternatively if you don't want to go axes for one extra point you can get over here to blade of the cunning and then you can get death blade and fill out all the sword nodes. So uh, yeah, that's uh, how you do the signature race the season as duelist. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to come check out my stream and ask me about it. Check out my other YouTube videos. Hopefully this was educational, taught y'all some things about racing, and hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Thanks so much. Okay. So I made, I was doing a, I'm going to be uploading that to my YouTube.